Hello, all two of you. Uh, this is, trust me, it's good, where Cedric is trying to convince me that something is good, that he's a big, big fan of. Uh, it's Unsold by, it's like Will Wright. <laughs> Will Wright? I, can't, I don't remember his name. You can't just... Uh, Will, Will White. White. Oh, Will I'm White. sorry. I missed the letter. It's okay. fine. No, uh, that's... Let's make the mistakes now. Um, so, anyway, uh, you're wanting to basically, like, go over in five chapter segments. Um, like, you've, re you've read the series before. Mm -hmm. uh, I've never read it, and I'm and we, we, we both read a lot of stuff, and we're both hypercritical of everything. It makes our lives miserable, but maybe it'll, like, make lives better for some people out there who either want to hear us, like, tear apart this series or, or, or justify its goodness. I think uh, <laughs> whichever side you're on, uh, you will have someone on your side just like to, to be able to uh, elucidate why you do or do not like this yeah and that's what this whole thing is about yeah so we're gonna go over like five chapter segments uh this is the first one we're starting to talk about chapters like one to five uh and then we're going to um you, you already know everything that's gonna happen so i'm gonna I say do. uh my my guess of what i think is going to happen in the next five chapters what i think is going to happen in the the overall book uh, I want to say what I want to happen I in the next that. five chapters and what I want to happen in the whole book, and I hope I'm correct. Because uh, to be but, honest, I mean, um, previous discussions between you and I, that's always what I look forward to because you're a creative guy. So hearing how this story could go compared to how it does go, sure. that's like fantastic. Sure, fine. All right, so we're going to talk about the book right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess I guess I'll start off because like you you you've already read it so mm -hmm. i guess you're just gonna add commentary to what i have to say as a new reader i just stroke my beard because like really people just want to know if i like the book that they already like mm -hmm. uh i do uh but i have problems with it so here's my thing this book felt like it was read written from the outside in uh by that i mean this guy has this 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 incredibly complicated world uh that he's constructed and then like after the fact after it, this world is already built uh he has placed characters within it that are now dealing with the situations in the world that has been already constructed. I love the world itself. In terms of chapter structure, I love that the opening bit starts off with him like finding out like what like I can't remember it's like clan or badge whatever like thing he's going to be. One of the four things. It's like yeah, the scepter, the, the, yeah. the scepter, enforcer, shield guy, punch people, or or, <laughs> or you know you, you freeze stuff that you freeze the Madra and you can make things. Yeah. Uh, because that gives me the ability to like, oh, like if I were in this society, I would identify with being the people who freeze the goo and make things mm -hmm. uh, out of soul juice. You would which, be like, Yeah, and like that, that gives me a, a thing that I can, because half the fun of fantasy is putting yourself in that world. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that's like that's the part that I really like. So yeah. for me, this like opened up, and I actually like, slapped my hands together. And I was like, oh fuck yeah, let's do this, because uh, I rarely get this with with books. <laughs> Uh, so I was like, I was very, very excited about this. To the point where I didn't actually give a damn if the story was good or not. <laughs> like, I was like, all right, the world's good. I don't care. Let's go. The, the story I make up in my own head will be good because I like the world. Uh, and so, yeah, I thought the world was really, really cool. Uh, the idea of the, the way Maja works and, like, uh, it's not Revenants. Uh, or is it Revenants? The things that pop up from the... Remnants. Remnants, Remnants. yeah. So, like, I like... Everything about the world is really fucking cool. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's really, really good. Um, and, and like how it's like only like it tells us a lot, but at the same time very little. Mm -hmm. Like how they how their form of magic is like I think it's like dream and like what was the other aspects of it? Uh, dream and light, or I believe. Yeah, it's yes. dream light and like something else. So you know that there are like other like groups or clans or what have you or areas, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know anything about them. So like I understand that there's like more of this, so I can like my magic can go wild in that aspect as well. Yeah. I'm like, oh, what are the other kinds of worlds? Like, oh, maybe there's like, like a fire or a death one or like or whatever, whatever have you. Like I can I can really go go nuts with with. Uh, if you were a creative person, this series is very 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 good mm -hmm. uh, because of how you can take it. And if you um if you were at all just kind of like um if you had done these first five chapters and there wasn't a specific scene which there is in this first five chapters you might just be like I don't know if I want to keep going because I don't know if there's a, like you know a, a death matter for instance but we do have a scene in this particular five chapters where it's like hey here are the possibilities yeah so like I've I've been given the the sub the subtext promise that this world is very fleshed out it's mm -hmm. not like a Stephen King book where he's writing on the flesh like seat of his pants and he's like oh I don't know fuck there's like Lawn frog Man. wizards and like lawnmower magic and like i don't know <laughs> fuck <laughs> and like this guy is like clearly thought out this whole world and we get to explore it with him and he's like, like giving us a tour of this mad majestic place he's created mm -hmm. and i'm super down for that mm -hmm. that's like something i'm really like i i that's why i read fantasy books as opposed to like other bullshit 
Uh, that's why I don't like watch sci-fi because I'm like it's it's like I don't I want something new. I want, yeah. something, I want something that doesn't exist. Like yeah. I, want, I already I want, live in human human society. What, I don't need more. Of what that. have you pulled yeah. from the ether? I want to know. Yeah, like I live in 2019 Earth. Like let's get out of that. Yeah. Bit. So. Uh, yeah, this is less a conversation about the first five chapters because the first five chapters are explaining the world itself. Yeah, and it's, which is um very much the I, I would say generally about um you know not really spoilers but like the first half of this book is mostly just setting up the yeah, world. Yeah, and like it's very very concrete despite it being fantastic, mm -hmm. fantastic also like and like I'm just giving like this is my compliment sandwich right now. Uh, so we're like, gonna get into it. Uh, so I like the, basically the world super good. I have no qualms with the world at all. The world is great. Uh, I have two other points I want to make mm -hmm. uh, on this first five chapters thing. One is good, and one is bad. Oh, I, uh, I, I want to hear the good news first. So, do you want? Do you want? Like, I've given you one of the good things. I want more layers on my compliment sandwich. Okay, so you want the you want the two two layers of goodness and then the bad. Well, it's not really even badness. It's like it makes sense why he did the thing that I don't it's like. It's like see me after class, but like not like a bad thing. Yeah, like, you didn't do like, it wrong. I like, just, you have potential. Okay. I just want to make sure that you. Uh, do it okay, so second good thing. Uh, the actual plot itself is very good. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a character who has who does not fit into this system and it is is needing to like the conflict is immediate. Um, so the fact that he does not actually like fit into this situation and he has no idea what the fuck to do. Yeah. Uh, which which is really really good and like he's constantly given situations where you don't know how he's going to get out of it. Like mm -hmm. I think it's like the fifth chapter where he's like he's in that duel and like he just like finds out how to do that hollow punch or whatever it is mm -hmm. where he can like disrupt the guy's mantra or soul or whatever and yeah. like he does it and then like he does that thing where like fuck it didn't do anything and like i felt legitimate tension I was like it didn't do anything I was, like fuck <laughs> I'm, like i know how these books work he decides to get fucked and then he punches him again yeah and i was like oh shit he punched him again <laughs> uh and then, like and then that worked i was like oh okay cool so actually just um for just for future reference so um what he does there is like the first one does work and then like, um, yeah I yeah the guy, no, he's, no like, i know like, i know but... yeah uh, but like the second one because he like the entire plan was like um he's that alone was not going to do anything. Um, the second punch is just a wind him and make him stagger. And then he goes, I give up. Thank you for having your, like, thank you for your time. Yeah, that was great. The, yeah. the, the situations that's been given and, like, also, like, the way his family's going to divide up the fruit. That was really good. Yeah. Like, uh, it gives you the internal debate of, like, oh, where do I stand on this? Should we, min should we beat, should we uh, buff the guy who's min-maxing for the team? <laughs> or, do we, or do we balance out the team by giving it to the weak dude? I'm like. Which even they, like, there's, in, like, a little bit, like, almost fourth of life suffers. Like, in my know? camp, they should have just given it all to the fucking girl who already knew her shit. Yeah, knew her shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, fucking, like, here you go, sis. I did my job. Like, fucking just anybody bugs me she clearly cares about him so like just fucking give her the fruit like yeah. just give her the fruit and she'll beat the shit out of anybody who gives him the crap. and there's that point like the um the talk with the elder where the elder literally he actually sees something he's like why would you water a plant which bears no fruit right yeah, yeah. like like but like I, um, I get it yeah but at the same time like but that was the fun of it right yeah. it's like i got to like i the, the thing that's been good about this book so far is i've been able to weigh in on it mm -hmm. like with my own opinions and my yeah. own like just like things on it there's a very um <laughs> there's a very strong i guess uh i uh, for lack of a better term like a dichotomy like um just a contrast between our society and this society right yeah or, yeah so it's been fun uh it's not there's been very little bullshit in this book mm. uh which has been really really good because i hate that mm. like hate, i hate it when it's like I, i'm not gonna elaborate on it this book does, does a very good job with it with with its world and like not going overboard and making it very grounded and real yes uh so i've i've been a very very big fan of that i love the aesthetic of like the white the, the foxes mm -hmm. as well and like the whole spirit things and like and how, how it gets like the plot also gives hint to like the future where it's like oh yeah there's gonna be a decision that happens and maybe a thing will happen where it throws things out of balance and like i mean you know things are gonna be thrown out of balance but you don't know what thing that gonna be <laughs> like that's the fun of it like it's one of the things like oh like we're like the plot's like <laughs> saying to you oh, i don't know whether or not things are gonna thrown out of balance or not you you know you know things are gonna get thrown out of balance yeah. but you what really you don't know is what's gonna do that so like i got to have fun with like just wondering like, oh i wonder if this is gonna be the thing i wonder if this is gonna be the thing I this is gonna be. Yeah. so i have promised for the future that not only is there like multiple clans and multiple areas but like things are gonna get fucked up like I know this is going somewhere, mm -hmm. uh, and because of how much hard work I've already uh, absorbed from from this guy's subtext, I I know that it's gonna be well and very like well yeah done. you know he was like he's like he he's he's got a pat like he he just he really he'll do anything to fit in you get that from the the, the prologue the very beginning yeah. it's like this guy is willing to put in the work even like he'll even come up with creative means yeah um, now and um, just to uh, interject real quick so you I'm mentioned like um. Oh, uh, no, yeah, so I guess interject myself. Um, you mentioned, of course, you know, um, you were talking about when he does the whole, the, sh um, the showdown with that clan, el uh, sorry, yeah. the clan patriarch. Um, that's actually, I, I feel like um, that's like the third uh, major um, incident like that where he's like kind of just, you know, um, he's 
faced with a conflict that he has to find some creative way around um, and to pull back, you know, to your original points as, and to the first conflict. Like that happens, of course, in the, in the prologue itself and a second time against the, um, the, the young, the young uh, guy um, when the, uh, around the remnants. Yeah. And that remnant situation comes up. Yeah, so let's pull back a bit. Uh, sorry, were you asking a question there? Or? No, no, I just, I just wanted to pull it back because I, I want to keep things kind of chronological. So chronologically, there's, of course, the prologue where he finds out, oh, I'm unsold, right? I don't really, I'm, I'm, kind, of, I'm kind of out of place and not really respected in this clan. Um, and that's the first conflict he comes across where he, like, he tries his best to get around it. The second one, of course, you jump ahead a few years, uh, and he's trying to you know, uh, get that orris fruit from the remnant or yeah. the remnant tree. Um, so we could either start there, or you were saying, so you, you layered on top of the compliment sandwich, you also had a critique. So whichever you want. Yeah, you okay, so uh, I'm going to fuck up your chronology. <laughs> so number one, I'm going to fuck up your chronology here, because uh, yeah. I'm going to talk about something that happened even before the prologue. Okay. Uh, secondly, I don't give a shit about your chronology, because this is the only people who should be listening to this are people who have already read the series. My order. Like 100%. Yeah. If you have not read one Unsold, do not listen to this. Uh, instead, just read Unsold, and then come back. Because uh, this is like that's what you should true, do. True, true. Like I'm, I'm keeping people centered. This is not. This is, <laughs> this is not for the un, unread. If you yeah. have stumbled into this, not from the unsold community, so to speak. Okay, that, yeah. We got two pieces of bread, a compliment sandwiches, but like the the middle is the critique. Let's let's go. No, no, no. I, I want to bring up one more thing. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so something I found really interesting was like the pro pro prologue or whatever the hell it is. Uh, when it's like giving the report, mm -hmm. like it's like, do you want to continue with the report? No. I was like, that sounds like something a computer would ask. Yeah. So I was like, that's kind of fucked. Um, that's really interesting. And I'm like, that's like clearly not a mistake. So I'm like, that's the thing that's been intriguing me the most. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, that, that's, that's something I wanted to bring up uh, that I'm really looking forward to uh, look, going going ahead. Yeah, just generally, I, I, so I did a bit of a review before we did this because I wanted to have some sort of structure for the podcast. And I think the five chapters per episode really worked because... That the pacing is great, and you're gonna get a little bit more of that next time. Yeah, as a person, if you've you've already read the the books and whatnot, so if you don't remember to give context, basically the fifth chapter ended with the the punching the one dude uh, he was dueling. Yeah, uh, he learned the hollow punch, and he struck the dude, and then conceded immediately. Mm -hmm. And then the guy was trying to retaliate, and the elder was like, "No, mm -hmm. not that." Yeah, yeah. So to be clear, um, so I. I I should know the the name of the technique because I'm the expert. The hollow. Here. It's it's not two it's not twin the stars. Yeah, no, no, not quite. No, the twin stars was, <laughs> was the defense against this. Yes, um, yeah. Um, I, I, yeah. So anyway, so he does what he does is he um, with the punch he injects the mad uh, he injects pure madra. This is very specific to people who only use pure madra, uh, which disrupts the core of yeah. any other regular practitioner who has like a very specific madra they they say they say called. Um, and yeah, so we ended there where that really rustled the heck out of um, the um, Waymon, uh, Waymon Keth, uh, the Mon um, Patriarch Keth. Yeah. So he's like, I know, you know what? No, this is obviously like, you did this to embarrass me. So he's about to lay the smack down on um, Lyndon's father because yeah. he's the representative. Uh, and the, the Way Elder interjects and displays just like the, the sheerest amount of like, um, power and control. And yeah. Lyndon's Linden, just like, that. I want that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that actually leads well, well into my criticism right now. So I, I hope, and I'm going to make the assumption this gets better. Mm -hmm. uh, and I understand why this is a thing right now because there's so much exposition to go through. Mm -hmm. uh, Lyndon feels less like a character and more like a situation. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if I'm reading like a piece of material or if I'm watching any kind, kind of media, and you give me like without context, you give you give me a quote. Uh, I can be like, oh, that's like, oh, that's a Linden sentence right yeah. there. I don't have that. Like, there's nothing that's like really like stands out. Like he like it's very real. It's yeah. very grounded in the fact that he doesn't really have any like striking personality traits right now. Yeah, nothing. I don't think anything he said so far you would be like, oh, that's a Linden quote. Whereas like, yeah, it's like, like honor's dead. I'll see what I can do. Like obviously, like he is just like. In like he is what anyone in that situation would be. Mm -hmm. uh, same thing with his sister. She is anyone in that what that in that position would be. Like there is nothing like specifically unique about these characters yet. Mm -hmm. They are their situation, which yeah. is fine because it's trying to explain what that situation is. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that Lyndon will have room to grow later, where like he will do a thing or say a thing, and I'm like that is a very Lyndon thing to do. And then like yeah, and smile about that. I'm like yeah, that's definitely like one something he would do. Uh, <laughs> but like I don't have that yet. It's yeah. fine because I think if I had that at this point, that would be way too much 
stuff that would be way too much information. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, it feels very much, I, I would agree with you, it feels like um, most of the first half of the book is just front-loading a lot of information. Yeah, so... And perhaps the author himself thought that as well. For right now, I'm giving it a pass on that. Mm -hmm. But I'm looking for this going forward. Yeah. Uh, like, it, it, like, it's not the main focus for me right now, because the main focus for me right now, the thing I'm getting out of this book, I'm enjoying about this book, is, like, the world. And, like, the fact that these characters are grounded in a real situation is fine. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm, I'm, th th that's okay. It's not like it's not even like a criticism. It's just like I wish this was was better. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be real. <laughs> like I wish this was better. Yeah. Uh, it, it would be nice if it was better. So I'm looking for for stuff that I'm like I could like not. It's not so much if I was to identify with Lyndon right now. I'm not identifying with Lyndon. I'm identifying with Lyndon's situation, mm -hmm. which is two different things. I, can, I completely um, agree. And I really want to be able to like see something that is identifiable with him, something that I could enjoy about about Lyndon. That if, if I could like, you know, ah, uh, it, it's a shame he's not in this other situation because I could see his personality really taking flight uh, with this other thing. And it's like, mm -hmm. but I don't see that. He's he's not really any different from anybody else right now. Mm -hmm. Like uh, they're they're all like the same person, just in different situations. Yeah, I, I completely agree. Like all he is right now is uh, basically just a platitudes towards his clan, right? Yeah. Um, even just his family, just like a forgiveness or like they, um, yeah, it's basically just a bunch of forgiveness, apologizing, bowing, blah blah blah. Yeah, and that's and that's fine for now. Like, mm -hmm. He's like he's like what? How old is he? Uh, sixteen. Yeah, fuck. Uh, like people don't have personality when they're sixteen. They don't. <laughs> like I mean, they kind of do, but like not really. Like they're not they're not fully developed humans. Uh, I'm sorry if anybody listening to this is 16, but you're you have a long way to go. Uh, <laughs> uh, you'll really, appreciate this 10 years from now. <laughs> you will. Uh, you'll you'll be agreeing with me later when you're a crotchety old man like I am, <laughs> uh, or or a crotchety old cretin like. like we still love you. It's all. It's fine. I mean, I don't know you. I think that's a little bit steep. I love you. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think that's like pretty much everything I have to say about the first five. Yeah, specifically, I just wanted to hear um, if you had any uh, any specific things you wanted to say regarding. Because I think um, what most you could pull uh, about the world building from the story, or at least the first five chapters here, is um, from his interaction with the um, the Wei clan. Uh, sorry, um, oh, geez, uh, the um, the fox elder. Yeah. Uh, the, the yeah the one who who created the the white fox pack. Mm. Uh, so is there anything in because he elaborates a little bit on you know the history of the um, of rather Sacred Valley itself, let alone just the clan. Yeah. Um, some other things which uh, Lyndon might be looking forward to. Did you pull anything from that specifically? What or maybe- mean, What do you his... mean pull? So um, just because I, at the very least, you know I'm very big into world building and you're a little bit like, that's what's keeping you going forward in this particular yeah, story. Yeah, that shit up. The fleshed out story. Um, and he points at some of that. He's just like, look at what we have to look forward to as well as look at the past, which indicates some of that. I mean, that doesn't really add anything to what I've already said. Mm -hmm. they, like, yeah, I pulled a bunch from that. Mm -hmm. Like saying like, yeah, it's, this world is big and complex. And gotcha. like, it, it, that's basically like, I mean, it didn't say that, but that's like the sum of what it said. So that just that, kind of folds into the rest of, yeah. It's yeah, like, it's just yeah. this world is big and detailed. And it's like, basically the author is telling me, uh, Will White, or White, uh, yeah. has, has basically said to me, please, I put so much work into this. Please keep <laughs> reading. <laughs> I have stacks of notes. <laughs> I've world built uh, for two years in coffee shops with two of my friends. <laughs> two, two years. <laughs> wow, <laughs> he's fast. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, yeah, that's all I have to say about the first five chapters. So, I guess the next five. Um, yeah, so, uh, real quick, um, I, the same, I guess. You would have the same answer for um, his uh, musings in the um, uh, the library as well. Yeah, all um, the same the stuff. Archives. It's it's, just, it's, yeah. it's lots of nice little tidbits. So, I love how you pull out like an obscure book uh, with all these details in it. Yeah, like, this is the kind of thing. If I asked Will like what kind of other books were in there, he could you feel like he, he'd have an he could immediately answer me. Yeah, like with sources. Like he'd be like, "Here's here's my notes on this." It's not just him like making up the shit on the spot. You aren't wrong. Um, there's um he's so good with his answers that there's li literally a uh, website called Abaddon Archives. Yeah, which is basically um. It's an archive of his own answers for a different world building stuff. Yeah, and I, I, I need that. I really need <laughs> but that. But you can't have it. That's why that's why I personally can't get into Dark Tower or any or any Stephen King shit. Because yeah. like I understand I have nothing against Stephen King. It's just it's not my thing. Because yeah. I know that there's nothing behind that curtain. 
Yeah, exactly. There's nothing behind there. Yeah. <laughs> or like, Will's like, come on, check out behind the curtain, please. There's exactly. so much shit behind this <laughs> yeah. curtain. Well, like, it's the idea, like, it's, it's like a good stage play. Like, you're not actually going to see behind the curtain, but you know they've got, like, everything thought out behind there, right? Yeah. It's yeah. Like, there's so, <laughs> this curtain, there's so <laughs> much shit behind it, please. Look. Like, how, where are these props coming from? They, I know they only have about two feet of room back <laughs> Go there. to my wiki. Please, <laughs> please go to my wiki. So, like, yeah, so that said, I mean, um, what I would love to hear first, like, considering you, you brought all, you uh, intimated all these thoughts from that. Um, what would you like to see happen in the next chapter? Uh, so I've been given a lot of details about the world itself. Rather, I, um, the next five chapters. I mean. Yeah. So I've been given a lot of details about the world itself. I think I'm cool. Like it, it can dump more uh, on details in the world. I I'm super up for that. Mm -hmm. But I want to see uh, the situations change dramatically. Like Lennon Lennon's been like up to like right now. There's no like super big uh, conflicts. I'm really looking forward to like the, the fox thing okay so the like the fox brought up the the fact that like some shit's gonna get fucked i i don't see that happening in the next five chapters maybe it will maybe it won't but like right now the short-term conflict has resolved mm -hmm. uh where that fight is resolved so i'm expecting in the next five chapters here's what i'm expecting to happen uh i'm expecting some more comeuppance for that fight uh whether or not like he's gonna get framed or something or kicked out of the village in some way or just get the shit beaten out of him or mm -hmm. i don't know maybe like some, something bad is going to happen with that because nobody just forgets about that kind of thing that happens. Uh, so, like, he's just going to get more more bullshit either with the situation he's in uh, or or something with the village. Linden's life is going to be bad. Uh, <laughs> is is That's the thing I know is going to happen. Linden's going to be dealing with more bad bullshit. His family's probably going to scold him. Uh, I could see him being, like, disowned maybe in the next five chapters and, like, his sister being like, oh, you shouldn't be hmm. disowned. You're my brother. <laughs> I brought you. <laughs> so so this is what you th uh, think will happen? or what This is what I happen? think will happen. You, this is what you think this will happen. This is what I think will happen. Okay. Uh, is, like, something is going... Like, I don't think the big fuck-up is going to happen yeah. in the next five chapters. You think, I think it'll be things very, will just, like, complicate from what yeah, ha already happened? I think it will be very close. Hmm. I think in, like, the, 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 the 11 to 15 mark is when the big fuck-up will happen. I don't yeah. think... I think five to ten, sorry, six to ten. I think will be the lead up to the, the, fuck, the complication to, to the fuck up that's gonna yeah. happen in the next like the the, the one after this one. Okay. Uh, I, like I think the next the next five chapters is gonna be just more more fuckery, uh, more explaining, just more more, colorful, more like, oh, shit. yeah, more like stress, more linen being in bullshit situations, uh, is, is what I see happening in the next five. And uh, what do you want to happen? I want Lyndon to just fucking beat the shit out of everybody with his with his open palm thing. <laughs> I, I want them to be like, how'd you fucking do that? And he'd be like, oh, I don't know, like, like this. And then just fucking doing it to so empty many people. Empty palm technique, by the way. High yeah, five. sorry, empty palm. I want to see him <laughs> empty palm every fucking person. Uh, really? Like, this is not what I expect to happen. But I would love to see him just fucking empty palm like his dad, his mom. Not his mom. His, his mom's a sweetheart. Huh. Uh, but like, you know, just like fucking everybody. <laughs> like, like, look at this. <laughs> I've got this one technique. Dude, if I, was a, if I was a 16 year old kid who had had no power in my entire life and suddenly found this out is what you a way to with. bitch slap a dude who could like bend iron with his pinky. Uh, I would be using that shit on everybody because I am a dumb 16 year old with way too much power for a person who's never had I've power. I've got one technique and I'm going to fuck up the entire yeah. sacred valley with it. Yeah, just fuck everybody with it. Like, <laughs> that's what I would love to see. Like, it's a terrible idea, but that's why I want to see it. Okay. That's not going to happen. <laughs> like, but now we get into like now we get into like the the monetary bets like where like you would owe me money if you got no m m maybe I not am not fun. betting on this happening. <laughs> so I I will bet that maybe he uses it one more time at most in the next five chapters. So I will bet that I will bet that he uses. I will make you an actual bet that's right like a now. Negative ratio bet though. That's uh, like that he will ever. use it one time in yeah. the next five chapters. That's the worst. Okay, no, no. What I'm getting at is wait. Um, you already know the fucking answer. What am I saying? So, so what I'm I should be at. winning. I, this should be like, like ten to one for me because I'm going in the dark here. That's like the safest answer. You Actually, could I just absolutely should never agree with it because you would never agree to this bet because you already know everything that's going to happen. I was going to say earlier, I had like the perfect poker. I was like, you like my poker face, but um, so specific. They what can't I'm, see what his I'm poker at. face. No, it's terrible. Um, my eyes are closed. Cancel this podcast. Uh, no. So specifically, um, I was gonna, actually going to get into so. Um, going on for a prediction for this entire book or even the series, um, what would you think might happen in the future? Mm, I don't know enough at this point to make a prediction for the series or the book. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's I don't have enough to grasp on to yeah, in okay. terms of the global plot. 
I think it's like a way better conversation for later. Like once I finish the entire book, I'll have a way better opinion on the series. That makes sense. And once I get like more chapters in, I'll have more opinion on the book. Right now, yeah. I got like nothing for that right now. Gotcha. Like I know some fuckery is gonna happen with like what the fox said, uh, whatever the fox says, uh, and then uh, don't don't laugh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh, I hope I get an answer for the like the fact that it was like a report. Um, but I, I have no predictions for the series right now because I just don't know enough. Okay, so we'll leave kind of the larger predictions till you obviously have a bit more information, uh, which would be next episode. Uh, and we are going to be doing... I am going to be releasing these in weekly installments. Yeah, so we'll weekly. Be next week. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> I'll find time to read. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so any closing thoughts? No, nah, it's good. Uh, I like the series so far. I give it a... I give it a uh, Thumbs up out of thumbs up. Solid um, B plus out of B plus. Man, so like in context, so for the context for the, for the people listening to this, all one of them now, because the other one ducked out, uh, I, I barely ever finish books. Uh, I basically get to the halfway point in like everything I'm reading and then just ask if I actually still give a damn, and most of the time I don't. Uh, I think I finish maybe 10% of what I read. Uh, and uh, people think that's a travesty. Like you can see my bookshelf, like right now. Yeah. Like, half of the, like almost all of them have like a fucking like bookmark sticking out of them in the middle. Uh, I, I need more bookmarks, man. <laughs> uh, I mean, by honestly, by the time you get back to them anyway, they're like you're just gonna have to restart anyway. For no, I, I remember. I'll, I'll remember. Oh, like, Mr. Brig Brain over here. I had to restart so many books. No, I, I like yeah, like I, I read up a synopsis on like the things that happened Makes previously. Sense. Like. But yeah, so but this one seems like actually promising. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, so far, it's been delivering on the world, which is like the foundation for everything so far. So yeah. it's it's I have my checklist, and surprisingly, it's checked everything off. It, I wanted it to get the bonus points, it did not get those bonus points uh, for having the characters be like super, super ridiculous. But, yeah. Uh, but you know, there's time for that later. Yes. Yeah. So now is not the time for that. No. Uh, but I'm I'm super stoked for this. I, I I legitimately I'm now looking forward to diving into the next five chapters because I was waiting to do that. I was really waiting to do that. <laughs> um, and this whole thing um, that's actually what got me because I you know it got me excited because I know you and I know you don't finish books and hearing you say like I kind of want to finish this book. Yeah, like that's like for me for me that's like okay this at least is like this book's in the like. We got the thumbs up. Like we'll said, have a right? special episode for the halfway point, where then I would legitimately finish this. <laughs> yeah. Uh, because I usually get like this at the beginning of the book. True. <laughs> yeah. I get all excited, and then it, they somehow always manage to disappoint me. Well, that's the thing. Like I can like pressure into it because these are actually fairly short books. I I feel like now that said, like I don't think that's like um I don't need to like trick you into it. Um, these books generally are very good at pacing. So they're short. They've got good pacing. You, it's worth going through the end, right? Yeah, I don't really care much so much about pacing. No. Okay. I'm less of a pacing guy. Cool. That probably invalidates my entire opinion. Yeah. We'll figure it out later. Yep. <laughs> Bye, everybody. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>